This episode of D News is brought to you by LG G3. The lightsaber from the trailer is cool. No, it's not. It's silly and impractical. You would cut your own hand off. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching D News. I'm Trace and we got Katie as well. Hello. There's a lot of online arguing this week about whether this lightsaber in the new Star Wars trailer is a bad idea. It's got a stupid cross guard and it's just so impractical. Lightsabers are not real. Katie, sorry to hurt your soul or whatever. Anyway, we looked into why they haven't made one yet because regardless, they are awesome. Yeah, I mean, even if they had that stupid, stupid cross guard. A lightsaber is arc wave energy generated plasma contained by a force field. It's customizable and adjustable for easy use. The plasma is focused using a pair of crystals and generated using a diatium power source. Okay, but in real life, almost all of that is fiction. Firstly, plasma is a fourth state of matter. It is not a solid, liquid, or gas. According to MIT, plasma is a superheated gaseous ionized cloud of positively charged atoms and free electrons. Scientists can't create it, but it's mainly found in tokamak nuclear reactors where a magnetic field is generated to keep the plasma contained. Nuclear plasma has an operating temperature of 100 million degrees Celsius, and you can also find it in the sun. So while we can make plasma, having crystals that focus it, that's, that's pretty weird. Because physics doesn't allow for focusing of a superheated gas. And even if we could, we'd need to create a force field to contain that into like the blade shape. Force fields in science fiction are energy fields, which can block both matter and energy. In real life, scientists have created laser nets and basic force fields, but in general, they're a, a pain in the butt. Most scientific force fields in real life aren't even worthy of the name force field. Barriers of air or sound waves can stop raindrops or contain temperatures, magnetic fields can stop energy particles or contain plasmas, but that's not really what we picture when we think of a force field. Plus, superheated plasma would be giving off a lot of heat energy, so somehow we would have to contain all that too. In the end, we could go through each piece of the lightsaber and talk about why it's not practical with conceivable technology, but the most important part, the linchpin, isn't the made-up physics, it's the battery. Ugh. I hate batteries. Who doesn't hate batteries? Though? Anyone with a mobile phone knows that batteries suck a lot. And they're not even creating a force field contained column of superheated plasma. I'm just trying to Twitter, bro. And even if we could combine sheets of graphene to create a perfect capacitor, it still couldn't hold enough energy to generate all of that stuff. But it would be really cool. It'd be so cool. So lightsabers are like completely fictional. Kind of like I said earlier. No! Last year, MIT and Harvard University got together and with all their nerd powers combined, they brought us the very first working lightsaber. Sort of. Well, yeah, sort of, yeah. <laughs> the researchers were attempting to move quantum information and accidentally stumbled upon the photonic molecule, a possible new state of matter. Photons are particles of light. They behave as both energy and waves and have no mass. So if you made a blade out of them, it would go forever, just like the flashlight ones you made as a kid. You couldn't cut anything with it, but it sure did look cool. Yeah. Photonic molecules, on the other hand, behave completely differently. The researchers ended up binding photons together for the very first time and found when they interact, they form molecules. So here's how they did it. When photons pass through water, some of their energy is removed, and this process is similar, but it's a lot more extreme. Instead of water, they used a supercooled cloud of rubidium atoms. They were just above absolute zero. When they shot photons into the cloud, they slowed down and started grouping together, then exited the cloud at the other side as a little molecule. <laughs> It was the first time outside of theory this had ever been seen. The researchers said one analogy to how they behave is like a lightsaber. When they interact, they push against and deflect each other, not unlike the sabers in the movie. <laughs> so while there are a number of scientific roadblocks in making a lightsaber for us today, MIT and others have got top men working on it right now. Who? Top men. Go down into the comments and talk about Star Wars, because you're probably gonna do that anyway. Mm -hmm. Tell us what your favorite race is, or favorite planet, what color your lightsaber blade would be. I, I don't know. I'm going purple, by the way. And while you're at it, check out this video on lens flares, and let's hope that we don't see too many of them. Looking at you, JJ. This episode of D News is brought to you by LG G3.